Trams are one of the favorite forms of transport in big cities, and city planners use them in the world's largest cities. The reason for this is that they are significantly more expensive to build than, say, a metro network, but they are also cheaper and faster than, for example, a bus network. Millions of people around the world choose this form of transport every day, especially because it is fast over short distances and creates a sustainable, even greener and quieter city. In a previous video, we looked at the 10 most interesting trams of the future, but that only talked about the trams themselves, and in this video we will look at 10 specific tram projects. Number 10, Helsinki's Crown Bridges. The project, also known as the Crown Bridges, is a light rail project in Helsinki, Finland, and one of the most ambitious urban transport megaprojects, aiming to connect the city center with the eastern districts of Lajasalo, Korkiasari and Kalasatama. It consists of three iconic bridges, including the longest bridge in Finland, providing a sustainable, high-capacity public transport connection across the sea. It also includes pedestrian and cycle paths, making the bridges a multimodal corridor. Construction began in 2021 with phased opening scheduled until the end of the 2020s, positioning Kronusalat as a model for climate-friendly, future-oriented mobility in the Nordic region. Number 9. Tel Aviv Light Rail. Light rail is a form of tram that is built to lower engineering standards than heavier transportation systems such as the metro, but is still different from traditional trams. In this video, we will discuss many such LRT systems, the first of which is the Tel Aviv light rail under construction in Tel Aviv, Israel. The network, which consists of several lines, including the red, green and purple lines, aims to reduce chronic traffic congestion and pollution. The first red line, which was opened in 2023, and it is a 24 kilometers long light rail line, with 34 stations, connecting Bat Yam, Tel Aviv and Peta Tikva. The green and purple lines, which will open soon, will reach more suburban areas with a total length of more than 100 kilometers of track. Number 8. Nuakshot Tramway. The Nuakshot Tramway is a planned light rail system in Mauritania's capital, proposed to address severe urban mobility challenges. Initially promised by President Mohamed Ould Gazouani during his 2019 campaign, the project involves the Egyptian company Arab Contractors, which signed in Mao in July 2022, to design and build two tram lines. The agreement outlined feasibility studies, financing strategies, and technical standards, emphasizing reduced emissions, better traffic flow, and tourism development. However, by 2023, reports surfaced suggesting a shift toward a bus rapid transit system, featuring 51 kilometers of reserved bus corridors and smart traffic controls. The tramway plan remains under study after a renewed Mao in September 2023, with construction expected to take around three years once financing and design are finalized. Number 7. Coventry Very Light Rail. Next up on our list is perhaps the most interesting light rail system, as an interesting looking tram is being built in the city of Coventry, UK. Developed by Warwick Manufacturing Group and Transport Design International, the system aims to deliver the benefits of light rail at a fraction of the cost, around £7 million per kilometre, compared to the £35 or £60 million of traditional trams. The system uses lightweight, battery-powered vehicles and prefabricated, shallow track panels that minimize disruption and are easy to install or reuse. Each vehicle will carry around 50 passengers, with zero on-site emissions. Testing has begun at the Very Light Rail Innovation Center in Dudley, and a 220-meter demonstration line opened in Coventry in 2025 for public trials. The first full line, connecting the railway station to key city destinations, is expected to open around 2027. Number 6. Astana Light Metro. Our next project is not even entirely electric, but rather a kind of light metro, and it will be built in none other than the capital of Kazakhstan, Astana. The Astana Metro is a 22.4 km elevated and ground-level urban rail system, currently under construction. Initially planned in the early 2000s as part of the Kazakhstan 2030 strategy, it faced repeated delays and a major halt in 2019 after the Chinese contractor went bankrupt, leaving unfinished structures that became symbols of corruption. Construction resumed in 2023, with opening planned for 2025. The first line, 
which is 21.5 kilometers long and has 18 stations, will connect Nur Sultan Nazarbayev Airport to Nurli Zal Railway Station, carrying up to 146,000 passengers daily. 19 CRRC Tongshen trains, each holding 652 passengers, will operate every 4 to 5 minutes through climate-controlled elevated stations. Number 5. Alexandria Tram Network Rehabilitation Project. The Alexandria Tram Network Rehabilitation Project is an estimated 363 million euro cost modernization of Egypt's historic Ramel tram line, which is one of the world's oldest as well. Covering about 13.8 kilometers and up to 28 stations from Victoria to Manshia Square, the project, led by Hassan Alam Construction, and the Arab contractors under the National Authority for Tunnels, aims to triple capacity and have travel times. Supported by AFD and European Investment Bank financing, works include new track, depots, signaling, stations, and modern trams. The upgrade will boost speeds from 11 km per hour to 22 km per hour, cut headways to 3 minutes, and greatly reduce congestion. Construction began in 2025, with completion expected by 2027. Number 4. Barcelona Tram Expansion. Barcelona has had a tram network since the 19th century and currently consists of seven lines. However, in the 21st century, the city's tram network has been divided into three parts, and for us, the Trambaics and Trambisos are currently relevant for the project. These two tram lines operate in the suburbs of the city, but there has been an increasing demand to connect the two systems for more efficient logistics. This project has been started, namely by extending the T4 line along Avinguda Diagonal. Phase 1 opened in November 2024, adding a 2 km long extension from Glories to Vertiger with three new stops, serving about 24,000 passengers daily. It uses Alstom's APS ground-level power system, avoiding overhead wires and preserving urban aesthetics. Phase 2 will extend 3.9 km to Francesc Mesha by 2028, construction from a 170 million euros budget. The project supports urban renewal, adding pedestrian zones and green areas, and aims to cut about 2,000 car trips daily. This marks a major step in Barcelona's sustainable mobility plans. Number 3. Dubai Tram. The Dubai Tram was one of the first in the Middle East, and it remains one of the most unique to this day. It began operating in 2014, and at that time, it was another form of transport in Dubai, alongside the well-known Dubai Metro. Its current 10.6-kilometer section with 11 stations is located in the city's Marina Bay District, but this is not the final one, despite the fact that it has not been expanded in the past 10 years. This section is planned to be expanded with 19 more stations in the future, primarily to extend the current section of the tram towards the Burj Al Arab. But the city has several megaprojects where they want to use trams to speed up transport in the future, such as Maiden 1 which will be a new shopping and skyscraper district, or Palm Jebel Ali, where they also plan to use trams in addition to various monorails and metros. However, it currently appears that Dubai will focus on developing its metro network in the future, as evidenced by the introduction of a new metro line called the Blue Line, but this does not rule out the possibility of further developing its tram network in the future. Number 2. Alula Tram Project. Saudi Arabia, as is well known, has built countless megaprojects in recent years to attract tourists from all over the country, and these projects are grouped together under the so-called Saudi Vision 2030 initiative. However, this initiative did not only include the megacities often described in videos, as many educational, living and public transport developments were built at its expense. One of these is the metro inaugurated in Riyadh last year, which is the most modern metro in the world with a length of 176 kilometers. However, another investment included in this project package is none other than the Alula Tram Project. This project will connect five major UNESCO World Heritage Sites in the country in the Alula Historical District, including sites such as the Old City of Alula, Dayton, or Jabal Ikma, all of this over a length of 22.4 kilometers, with 17 strategically located stations. It will also be the world's longest battery-powered, overhead line tram line. Alstom is a key designer and contractor of the project, having produced 20 Citadel trains, similar to those used in Dubai, offering an environmentally friendly alternative. The project is currently scheduled to be completed in 2027. Number 1. 
Luzale Tram. In 2022, the FIFA World Cup was held in Qatar, and this small Middle Eastern country spent approximately $250 billion on this special event. However, this amount covers the construction of stadiums as well as projects such as the Doha Metro, other skyscrapers and resort areas. However, what made up the largest part of the project was none other than Luzail City, a city in the northern part of Doha. Luzail City is not only one of the most interestingly shaped hotels in the world, but also its unique transportation makes it special. This city also has a four-line, 25-station light rail line, which runs partly underground. Of these, three lines have already been completed and only one is under construction, but when it is fully completed, the entire system will be 25 kilometers long. The lines are also operated by Citadi's trams manufactured by Alstom, and various French companies help to properly operate the network. So, at the moment, this project is almost ready, but not quite, so its construction will definitely continue in the future, until it is fully completed by 2026 at the latest. The total cost of the tram project is 2.7 billion US dollars, but this is nothing compared to the 45 billion US dollars cost of Luzail City. What do you think about these projects? Do you think there is a need for such a significant development of trams? Write your answers in the comments, and if you are interested in similar trams, then watch my previous video on the topic, and subscribe to the channel for more similar content. Thanks for watching, see you in the next time.